High pressure sodium lamps are efficient, cheap, heavy duty and have a long lifetime. This explains why high pressure sodium lamps are widely used in industrial lighting and many public outdoor areas. You will find organic glow high pressure lamps in roadways, warehouses, public parking lots and more. In this tutorial, we will learn how to connect high pressure sodium lamps. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. High pressure sodium lamp is one type out of three types under one big family, which is HID or high intensity discharge lamps. In this family, we have also metal halide lamps and mercury lamps. The main idea behind the illumination of high pressure sodium lamps is sending an electric discharge between two tungsten electrodes through xenon gas inside the arc tube. Thus, xenon gas is used for starting purpose. In addition to xenon, we have sodium mercury gas and metal salts inside the arc tube. The surge of electricity will cause heating to the metal salts and the plasma is created. This will increase the produced by the arc, resulting in a source of light. This is a lot of information, but all what we need now is how to connect the circuit. In this circuit, we have four elements. The lamp itself, the igniter which is used with ballast to send electrical discharges to the lamp. The ballast or chalk coil, which is used to limit the current inside the circuit. And at last we have capacitor, which is optional. We use it in the circuit here to make a power factor improvement. Here we have two different ballasts. The old magnetic ballast, which is used only with high pressure sodium lamps. And the new HID ballast, which is used with high pressure sodium and metal halide lamps which has two or three taps. For the igniter, we have two different igniters, the old one and the new electronic igniter. Now let's start creating the new connection, which is easy. Bring the AC source, the two taps HID ballast, the electronic igniter and the lamp. Connect the line source to one terminal of the ballast and the second terminal of the ballast connect it to the terminal B of the electronic igniter. Connect the terminal LP of the igniter to one terminal of the lamp. And at last, connect the neutral to the terminal N of the igniter and also to the second terminal of the lamp. Also, don't forget to connect the capacitor in parallel with the supply to improve the power factor. Be sure that the rated power of the lamp is the same for the ballast. Also be sure that the igniter rated power covers the lamp rated power. Now our circuit is ready. For HID ballasts with more than two taps, you may find different connections, depends on the manufacturer. So all what you have to do, follow the diagram on the ballast. So here for example, we have a three taps ballast from ELT company. We will connect the line source to terminal number 3 in the ballast. Terminal number 2 in the ballast we will connect it to the black wire in the igniter. The blue wire in the igniter will be connected to the neutral also to one terminal of the lamp. Terminal number 1 in the ballast will be connected to the red wire of the ballast and to the second terminal of the lamp. For the old magnetic ballast we have different input terminals. We will just choose two terminals according to our power source voltage. So here for example I will take the terminal of 240 volt. Also we have two wires that we have to connect the capacitor with. This connection will connect the input source with the first terminal of the ballast. Then we will connect the common terminal of the ballast to X3 terminal of the igniter and the last terminal of the ballast to X1 of igniter, also to the lamp. The second terminal of the lamp will be connected to X2 of the igniter and to the neutral. 
Feel free to check the resources in the description down below. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.